Right, we better zoom over to Loftus Road now. Aidan McGee. Aidan, I believe you've got some breaking news for us. Yeah, that's right. Well, I understand there was a, an, ag an agreement uh, done between QPR and West Brom over the transfer piece at Odden Wingy at around £3 million just a short time ago. It hit the skids when West Brom requested Junior Hoylet on loan, but also said to QPR that they have to pay his wages. Now, Odden Wingy had already said his goodbyes to his teammates. He was on his way to London. He's been left disappointed. The deal at the moment is at a standstill unless something can be resurrected this evening. These are pictures of Peter Odenwingi, who has arrived at Queen's Park Rangers ahead of a potential move from West Bromwich Albion. Uh, there are issues that need ironing out with this deal. We told you a little bit earlier uh, about some of the uh, problems that have arisen with this deal on deadline day. There are three hours, 45 minutes for the two clubs to strike a deal for Odenwingi to agree terms with QPR and complete his move from West Brom uh, to QPR. QPR had a second bid rejected earlier this week for the striker, but uh, we know that he wants to leave West Brom. He's made that clear on Twitter. QPR wants him to. Will they get a deal done? Stay here to find out. Peter, do you feel disappointed by how you've been treated by West Brom? No, no, fine. West Brom is my home, but it's a new chapter to start in my life. You know, I love West Brom and always will. But, how excited you know, are you about this uh, challenge? Oh, I think every football fan is interested to see if we're going to, you know, uh, make it or not. I, I'm very optimistic about it. A few good players already arrived here. Uh, I'm happy with the trust, you know, that uh, the manager Harry Redknapp is giving me. You know, it's interesting. You do you believe know. QPR can stay up now? Yes, of course I believe. The last few results uh, show that there is chance to stay up. I don't think the owners will uh, bring uh, so many quality players and spend so much money if they didn't believe it can happen. So I believe uh, as, as well as they believe. Will you definitely be a keeping our player as of this evening? Uh, well, it's not 100%. It's not sorted yet, but I hope West Brom will be happy with what... Uh, what uh, they will get and of course uh, they hoping to get few players themselves so I just hope things will go well in the last few hours and you finally got your wish after speaking on Twitter over the weekend uh, well you know had to push a little bit so <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry now to what's turning into an incredible story uh, involving Peter Oden Wingy and QPR he arrived at Loftus Road after it was believed that West Brom and QPR had agreed a fee Odin Wingy himself told us he was hopeful of a deal going through, but West Brom have released a statement insisting a deal has not been agreed and Odin Wingy does not have permission to speak to QPR. We, we have never heard anything like this, a Peter Odin Wingy situation. Pitching up and it seems trying to force through this move tonight to get his move from West Brom to QPR. Simon Jordan and now Quinn are with us. Simon, I mean, if you'd been his employer before he did this tonight, what, have you, what would you be thinking? Well, I mean, I think ultimately it's an unsatisfactory position. I think the player's agitated through Twitter and social mediums about what he wants to achieve. But unfortunately, and Niall might have a similar view, he remains a West Bromwich Albion employee and he has to do as he's told whether he likes it or not. Now, the reality of where he finds himself turning up at Queen's Park Rangers, I don't suppose that he's just gone there of his own volition. I'm sure he's been given a nod and a wink. And possibly knowing some of the people involved in this process, I'm sure that West Brom are trying to drive a deal in a certain way that suits their ends, possibly more than QPR's. Yeah. I, have, I have a load of respect for Jeremy Peace at West Brom, and, and he knows how to deal. Uh, and I just, in behind this somewhere, uh, the, the, the decision that the player has made to come down is either based on the agent saying, get down here, it's the best chance of doing, uh, do, getting your move, He's bought into it incredibly by doing an interview the second he comes down. I mean, what's he going to say when he goes back to West Brom to his teammates that he shook hands with earlier on, apparently? Um, it, it beggars belief. But somewhere in there, you know, th th there's a lot of bluff on a night like tonight, mm. you know? And he might have gone for a drive around the block and he might be back in half an hour. So I I'd keep a real close eye on this one. Well, let's say there isn't bluff <laughs> and he's just done this off his own back. I mean, would QPR really want to sign a player that, that would do this? Yeah, it's a, a fair question. Um, uh, Not but to again, say that he has done that, but going back to Simon's point, you know, he, he just didn't pick a club out of the blue and decide to turn up. Something has gone on there where there was deep interest. The agents here are, are the ones now. They, they, I mean, they've got two hours left to make money. They make no money in the next six months. So all sorts of, 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 of messages will have gone back to players. And in this particular instance, I don't think he'd have come down unless he was sure this deal was going the right way. Uh, it looks awful for him right at this minute. But I, hold on, there's a bit of time left. Aidan, tell us the latest on Peter Odom Wingate. Well, the word you use is extraordinary, Jim, and I can't think of a better word myself. He turned up an hour ago. We've since learned that he never actually entered the building. He was refused entry to the building 
And I've spoken to the chief executive here. Of course, he was trying to force that move through desperately. I spoke to the chief exec, Phil Beard, and he said he wasn't allowed into the building because they would never show West Bromwich Albion the disrespect of speaking to a player when they didn't have permission to speak to him. So we're happy to set the record straight on there. Peter Odden Wingy is somewhere in London. It doesn't look like this move to QPR is happening. We're counting down and so is Big Ben. Just over 10 minutes to go until the 11 o'clock deadline and this current transfer window will be shut. OK, from Big Ben, let's head to Loftus Road. Let's hear from my colleague Aidan McGee and he is with Harry Redknapp. Well, yes, QPR have been very active today and here to talk me through it is the man himself, the QPR manager, Harry Redknapp. How's it been for you today, Harry, overall? Um, it's been okay. It's been uh, a bit frustrating, some of it, you know, but uh, we managed to, we took the two lads from Tottenham, a couple of loans, you know, young Andros Townsend, who's a kid who I think has got good potential to be a good player, so it was nice to get him in, and uh, Jermaine Janus, so we got them two in. Is Townsend definitely done? Yeah. Yeah, both done, yeah. Talk us through what happened to Peter Oden Wingy. He turned up at the club and no one seems to know anything about it. No, I don't know. I, I think he probably felt that, that the deal had been uh, agreed between the clubs and it had, and it was all a bit of a mix up, really. But I feel sorry for the lad and the way the whole thing's turned out, really. It's been difficult. It wasn't any of our doing. It just happened to be, uh, I think maybe he was, you know, advised that uh, he should turn up here, that the club had made an offer and the offer had been accepted. But I think the wires got crossed somewhere. Is there no way it can be resurrected right not now? Not now, no, not at this time of night. No, it's too late now. So we await now the chimes of Big Ben and we still await news on Arsenal. And Beckham and Balotelli, they were done earlier today, but what else is still coming our way? Meantime, the window is shut. Eleven o'clock, the hour we've been waiting for, and Beckham's in Paris, Balotelli is in Milan, Odom Wingy is heading back, we think, to West Brom. Talk us through what happened with Peter Odom Wingy, because most of us were left quite bewildered by the saga. Yeah, it's a difficult one. I mean, I think what we've got to establish is before we can talk to a player, we have to get the two clubs to agree terms. And we've spent the last few days talking to West Brom. We were really keen to make the deal happen. But ultimately, if two clubs can't agree, we can't talk to a player. And I think there was probably a bit of a misunderstanding. And I think Peter came down to London hoping that a deal would have been agreed. Unfortunately, we didn't get to that stage. So we weren't able to talk to Peter at all. And unfortunately, at the end of the day, we weren't able to make a deal work with West Brom. Do you feel sorry for the player? Because he clearly wants to come here. Yeah, no, I do. And I think it was difficult for the player. I do think one of the things that uh, is a challenge is when you've got other people around a deal trying to make it happen. But what we have to establish is the terms of an agreement between the two clubs. Otherwise, we're not allowed to talk to a player at all. So it was difficult when Peter turned up today um, and we weren't able at all to talk to him. And we had to ask uh, his representatives to take him you know, away while we tried to establish a deal with West Brom. That didn't happen. So unfortunately, the deal couldn't happen.